welcome to Lotus Flower Yoga videos. So I'd like to introduce Edwina to uh, classes at the studio. So it's really exciting to have her actually come to our channel and actually do a video <laughs> as well. So she's going to do um, a sequence in today and what is it called? Edwina? It's called the Flying Dragon. It's called the Flying Dragon. So what she's going to do, she's going to do the sequence first and then she's going to demonstrate and talk you through it so that you can have a go of the sequence. So what, tell us a little bit more about the... Uh, the Flying Dragon is from a book that's actually for students and teachers and it's got a lot of the lizard in it, a lot of diamond dogs in it. Your legs are meant to be your tail, so you're swinging your leg up in the air. So that's your tail swinging up and your arms are going to be your wings, so you're going to have to bring your arms out quite a bit. So it's good for strength for your arms mm. as well. And for all over conditioning, mm. yeah. So guys, keep watching to do this beautiful sequence with Edwina. slowly so then it gives you plenty of time to get into each posture don't worry about if you can't lift up the back knee and sometimes you need to keep the back knee on the floor you can do so feet together bring your hands into prayer position at your chest and just give yourself a few moments now of course balancing all depends on what's going on in your mind so if your balance is a bit bad then don't worry about it just put the foot down and that's okay slowly begin to take the weight onto the left foot, so we're going to use the right side first. Are you ready? Begin to raise 
the right leg just a little bit. Begin to spread your wings out. When you're ready, just begin to lean forwards a little bit. Doesn't matter how far your feet fall forwards, it's up to you. If you can extend the leg right out to the back, keep your wings spread. You can spread your wings as far out as you wish. Drop the fingertips down towards the floor. Begin to sweep and float that right foot down. Slide the toes back if you need to. Walk the left foot slightly to the left if you need to. Get the hands onto the floor. Now you are going to drop this left knee down to the floor if you can and drop the right side of your face down if it feels okay. So drop the right side of the face down. Doesn't have to touch the floor. Come back up, plant that left foot down, walk it slightly to the left if you need. Begin to raise the left hand towards the ceiling, coming into your dragon twist. Bring your hands back down. Make sure you're grounded. Swing your leg back into your three-legged dog. That's your tail. You're swinging your Komodo trail. Step the left foot forwards. Shuffle it forwards till it's solid. Drop the right heel back, then begin to fly around the world. Begin to turn the back toes, so now you're facing the back and the mat, you're going to do the same thing at the back. Lift up onto the toes at the back, begin to bend that right knee out to the right hand side and drop the left side of the face down. Come back, plant that foot back down, walk it slightly to the right if you need to. Raise this time the right hand up towards the ceiling. Release the right hand back down. Now you're going to swing your tail again. Right leg to the ceiling. Step that right foot back to the right hand. Drop the left heel down. Make sure you're rooted and strong. Fly around the world again. Facing back to the front of your mat. Come up onto the toes at the back. Get your balance first. Then bring your hands to the side of your shoulders. Spread your wings. Gaze to the ceiling if that feels okay. Now drop the hands back down. Swing your tail again. This time as you swing your tail, now you're going to draw it in towards the belly, knee in towards the belly, and slide that left foot underneath to the right hand side. Come onto the toes, drop the right heel down, keep the left knee bent for ease, and raise the right hand to the ceiling. Drop the right hand back down. Swing the left leg back to the ceiling, into your three-legged dog, swing your tail, and step the left foot forwards again. Drop that back knee a little bit away from the floor. Make sure that you're strong here before you attempt to balance. When you're ready, begin to lift that back leg. Use the core to lift you. Come back into your flying dragon. Now slowly come back into standing, raise the hands back to the ceiling. Drop the feet back together into your prayer. Give yourself a few moments before we do the other side. So just take a few deep breaths. Again, you can raise the hands to the ceiling. Come back, hands into the chest. Begin to take the weight on the right foot. Start to spread your wings. Hands out to the side. Begin to lift that left foot and begin to push that left foot behind. Again, keep a bend in the arms if you wish. Begin to extend that left leg behind. Your flying dragon. Drop your fingertips back down. Float that left foot down towards the floor. Stay on the toes. Begin to drop that right knee again out towards the right. This time, left side of the head's coming down towards the floor. Plant that right foot back down. Walk it slightly to the right if you need to. Plant the left hand. Raise the right hand to the ceiling. Bring your hand back down. Swing your tail. Raise the right leg. Step the right foot back to the right hand. Drop the left heel down. We're going to fly around the world. Come back to the other side, facing the back of your mat, palms back down. This time drop the left knee out, right side of the head down to the floor. Lengthen back into the arms, plant the left foot, raise the left hand to the ceiling. Release that left hand back down, connect to the left foot, swing your tail, lift the left leg back, and step it back to the left hand. Drop the right heel down so you're rooted on the floor. Fly back to the front of your mat. Bend into that front knee, onto the toes on the back foot, coming in to spreading your wings. Gaze to the ceiling if that feels okay. Release fingers back down in line with the toes. Fly your leg back to the ceiling in your tail. Again, this time step it underneath the body and over towards the left. Come on the toe and bend the knee. Drop that left heel down if you can and raise that left hand to the ceiling. Bring that left hand back down.
swing your tail back. This is easy. Step the right foot forwards again. Coming into your half toe, but just let that back knee bend a little bit above the floor. Now, get your centre, centre yourself before you begin to balance. When you're ready, begin to lift up that back leg. Begin to float from the floor, spread your wings wide. Find your centre of gravity and something to look at. When you're ready, bend back into that knee, draw the left knee back into the chest, raise the hands to the ceiling. And then bring the feet back together, hands down into your chest. Nice one. Feel the colour. Can you see it? Oh, it might be alright, it could be the sunshine. Yeah. So guys, I just <laughs> want to say I hope you enjoyed that. That was amazing! <laughs> so thumbs up for this video and we'll see you next Wednesday for another video. Say bye! Thank you, bye bye! bye.